you've written another great piece uh, page oh. 66 the mail on Sunday uh, Liam Whelan one of the Busby babes um, a flower that never that will never wilt uh, is the is the headline on it, and this is about the the uh, the eight quote flowers of Manchester who died along with uh, he died with, along with Roger Byrne Tommy Taylor David Pegg Jeff Bent Mark Jones Eddie Coleman and Duncan Edwards in the slush ice and snow of Munich um, this this is a this is a really good piece and and, and this time of year I suppose you get the the Munich pieces and the ah you do you do pieces. yeah you do Shane yeah and like even though I'm the blue half of Manchester that. You know, the red, the, that that story there it never it never ceases to to resonate with me. You know, um, um, I spoke to John Whelan, Liam's brother. Uh, I, over the years, I've spoken to Christy Whelan, Liam's uh, and John's late brother. And mm. Christy was a, 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 a lovely storyteller. And the Whelans are a remarkable family. Like you know, they they just accepted it that through their mother, they're very devout, very religious. They accepted that it was you know their mother said Elizabeth. It was it was meant to be. It was God's it was God's way. Uh, but and and they and they've. You know, they've never had a bad word to say about about anything about Manchester United. They've been, you know, they're still all, all Man, family are all Man United fans, and they were. And um, Christie's daughter was over last week for the game against uh, the, the West Ham game. But I was up there looking at the grave, and I have to say, if anybody is is going past the old thing this road, call in, and people all see the grave in class seven cemeteries on the right hand side as you head out of town. But the little one over to the left hand side, and you go in there, and Liam Whelan's grave is on the right hand side. You can't miss it, and it's beautifully done. But he was an extraordinary player mm-hmm. and you'll never know how good he could have been but his record but Bobby Charlton looked at him he said I can never be the best player at Manchester United because Liam Whelan is here he just he just felt that Liam was a different class uh, they tried to get him to Brazil Santos wanted to sign him there was just talk of Spanish clubs as well um, 52 goals in 92 games you know which is an astonishing return as a midfielder as a midfielder you know and they had they had Tommy Taylor leading the line they had Dennis Violet you know and and, and, Liam, and they had Bobby Charlton and Liam was a midfielder um, but the point of the thing about Belgrade was and come and the Munich and the crash and the sad thing is Liam was due to get married that summer to uh, Ruby um, and they had booked the Maples Hotel in Glasnevin and he wanted to, he knew he wouldn't be playing because Busby sort of moved the team a little bit and he told me he wouldn't be playing in Belgrade and he kind of said well I might go home for a few days to Dublin just because I've got the wedding coming up during the summer. And we'll be now just come along. I want to keep the way together, you know. There might be an injury the day before. So he went and he didn't play. And, um, you, know, it, you know, he might not have been on that plane. But the plane tried to take off twice, didn't. Mm. And then the third time of asking, um, it crashed. And Liam's last words, you know, which are, were heard by, by Harry Gregg and others who survived, like, you know, and, and Liam said, you know, if this is it, I'm ready for it. He was very devout, very Catholic. Yeah, I was going to say that, because that, uh, for a 22-year-old, like, the, if you think mm, a 22-year-old to have that. footballer nowadays, that he wouldn't have those last words uttered, where it, that just speaks volumes to his his faith, I suppose. Yeah, immense, immense faith, immense faith. And uh, his mother Elizabeth was a remarkable woman as well. She, she, she made it, that's God's, God's way.